Good morning, everyone. Thanks for your time here with us. I'm happy to see you. I'm not seeing some familiar faces here, unfortunately. <laughs> Just Audra, <laughs> Jennifer, as well. <laughs> Erivaldo. Erivaldo? Hey. Okay. Some KCD friends. Yeah. Yep. So basically, when me and Bernardo were creating these slides, we were thinking about how to start this presentation, because actually it's not like a normal presentation um, that we have here at Kubicon. We are not showing you like scripts or YAML files or a bulk of code, something like that, not today at least. <laughs> but um, it's more like um, we are here sharing our experience, you know? So the, the experience of our journey organizing a KCG, basically. Um, so today the journey, uh, the, this presentation is more how we organize it, how we were involved in a community event like KCG. And it's, I think it's funny because I was talking to Jay this, um, this morning. I think I've never went to an event to learn how to organize an event. So it's kind of interesting to, to present something like this. So I think it's going to be a good session. I want to start this uh, asking just one question. How many of you know what a KCD is, Kubernetes Community Days? Not so yeah. many, actually. I mean, half room. Half, yeah, 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 nice. So I think it's going to be a good session for sure, yeah. So let's just start by telling who we are. Uh, you want to start? Yes, of course. So I'm Jade. Um, I'm a sport and dogs lover. And, and it's funny because I work at Datadog. So <laughs> Maybe that's great. why. I'm passionate for making people bloom. I'm a technical sales engineer at Datadog. And I like to share and learn new things about Kubernetes, containers, observability, and open source. I'm Luis Bernardo. Some people call me Luis, some people call me Bernardo. Usually Bernardo for, you know, friends. Luis is usually how Jade calls me when, I, when she's angry. She's, she was very angry at me when we were organizing this event, so. We are a couple. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> and uh, I work at Red Hat for a couple of years, five or six. And uh, I do a lot of things regarding multi-cluster management for Kubernetes. So, uh, you know. Everything that touches regarding multi-cluster management, I do something in Red Hat about that. So that's, that's me. Um, but more importantly, we represent here more people, not just me and Jade. We represent uh, some organizers. Jade, go ahead. Yeah, basically we're here um, representing the cloud native community and open source enthusiasts all around the world. Um, also, uh, we, we needed to mention our lovely KCD teammates and organizers. This is us, basically, when we finished the KCG in Brazil. But we'll be talking more about the specific journey later on with more details, right? Yeah, yeah. So before we, we, we actually jump, whoop. Sorry, guys, because sometimes we need to go here, click in here, and click here because we don't have the... Yeah, the clicker. Yeah. yeah, but that's fine. So we, um, let's just be on the same page of what a KCD is. I saw many people uh, raising their hands that knowing what a KCD is, but some might not know what a KCD is. So first of all, definition, let me use this. So KCD definition, um, KCDs, Kubernetes community days are community driven events that are run by the local communities to help sustain and grow the cloud native community. Uh, I like to say this, the TLDR, it's a KubeCon, smaller KubeCon style events uh, run by locals, you know, the, your local regions. And uh, the goal is really to help uh, sustain the cloud native community. So it's really what it is, right? Yeah, you can go ahead. Yes, thanks, Bernardo. Yep, but going back to the main point, how is the journey of organizing a KCG? Maybe you have watched before Spider-Man. Let me try to change the slides again. Sorry, guys. Bernardo, can you help me here? I can, yeah. It's kind of tricky. <laughs> okay. Tricky situation here. Yeah, let's just. Okay, yeah. so probably you have watched Spider Man before. We have this quote in the Spider Man with great power comes great responsibility. And actually, it's a big responsibility because this type of work, work, it's very demanding, but it's very rewarding. Bernardo, can you tell us why it's very demanding? I can, yeah. It's definitely very uh, demanding. Uh, can go next yes, pa pass here for oh. me, please. Yeah, it's very demanding. Um, firstly, because it's a lot of time. We know that every one of us, we have our daily jobs, daily lives. And this is more like a volunteering job. 
right? So uh, first picture here, you can see our Google Drive. It's just a screenshot of our Google Drive, a lot of docs, a lot of spreadsheet, uh, spreadsheets, a lot of things. And for us, in our case, in Brazil, we took like, I think eight to nine months to make sure that everything was ready for the event. So it's a lot of time, many hours during the event. Uh, so that's why it's very demanding. Um, also, if you look at the other picture, this is us at 11 p.m. the day before the event. So uh, you can see that we were making sure that everything was ready for, you know, all the speaker kits, the attendees kits. The, this was, again, 11 p.m. the night before the event. And guess what? It was not really totally ready. We don't need to mention We that. don't need to mention that. Sorry. Yeah. But uh, so it's very demanding. That's why it's very uh, demanding. But also, if you look at the... the how people look at the CNCF, they usually have high expectations. So you need to take care of a lot of things and making sure they have good quality. Um, usually when people see a CNCF event, they are expecting great things. So that's why Jade said it's a great responsibility, but also very uh, rewarding. Right, Jade? Yes. Yeah? I think you need to close the slides. I can just go. Okay. Uh, it's very, very rewarding. Mainly you, if you are someone who likes to empower to, to empower others because you need to do that when you are organizing a kcg you need to give the stage to make others shine basically so if you are someone who likes to um, help and support others basically this is your game you have chance to make people shine on this stage and give them more confidence as well um, in terms of diversity it's a really good opportunity to be there exposed to different cultures, different backgrounds, different companies, different countries. For example, in KCG Brazil, we had people from Guatemala, Argentina, England, United States. So it's a really good opportunity to be involved in another world. In terms of new skills, you know, maybe we have a lot of technical people here. We don't have a lot of soft skills, so it's a good opportunity to learn new skills like teamwork, collaboration, um, leadership, patience, lots of patience, really, Bernardo. <laughs> a lot of patience, organization, decision-making, insights. It's the chance to get new insights, learn new strategies, learn if, how other companies are doing things, learning how your colleagues are doing things as well. But the most importantly, people. Nothing matters more than people, actually. Seeing real people stunning after months of our, uh, for, uh, of months of our education is really, really um, rewarding, actually. Yeah, I think it's... Yeah, I think we can go back to straight to the point. We know you want more, like maybe um, some of you want to get involved and get started on how to organize community events in your regions, in your uh, cities. This is really how you get started. And the first step is really uh, very cliche. It's get involved. If you know people in your region doing these kind of things, meetups, uh, they should be a good, um, you know, good people to, to talk to. They might be doing similar things, so try to find these people. But also, uh, there might be other community groups that are happening in the same area. So we have, again, in the CNCF, we, has, we also have the community groups. Um, forgot the cloud native community groups. So these are also event organizers. They usually do smaller events like meetups or these kind of things. So these guys are also used to you know, organizing events um, at a local perspective. So these are good people to, to reach out to. If you don't know these guys, I don't know where to find people that organize events. The CNCF, uh, CNCF Slack is a good um, opportunity. You can go to the CNCF uh, Slack if you're not registered, you can just register and search for KCD dash the name of your city. That's, that can be a good search for you to find people or really anything regarding your city, your region, your country. So go to the, go to the CNCF slide um, Slack and uh, search for these guys. That can be a good place to, to find people that are doing community things uh, in your region. Also, if you don't find anyone, talk to me, talk to Jay, talk to the other KCD organizers who can try to find you. Uh, the right people, Audra is right here. We will talk about her as well. Um, is one of the CNCF uh, persons to to help us guide us through the the whole process. So, those are, those can be good resources to 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 really get started. 
Um, Jade has some tips for you guys. Yeah, basically, basically, uh, I think it's important important to mention the three main tips here. Uh, the first one is do not get involved if you can commit to the activities. Make everything clear to the organizers, to the rest of the team. If you don't have time, make it clear. Maybe it's interesting to be just a volunteer. Uh, you're not committing to activities, for example. Um, set expectations, set the right expectations of your work, okay? Um, another point is we had a lot of people telling us after the KCG that the energy in our event was like amazing, best time. And we, we, we have here one example of this. Um, basically, put your heart and best energy on it because we were doing this. We were like leaving the KCG when we were organizing the KCG. And the, the last one is figure out stuff. There is no easy way to do things. So for example, in our case, we, we didn't know how to start being involved in the community. So we tried the Slack channel and it worked. So we needed to find your way to do things. Yeah, let me try to pass here. Bernard, help me here again. Yeah, so, um, well, let's say there's already a KCD being organized in your area or something like that. Um, you can do many things to help. Not only being an organizer, you can do many things. So let's start with speaking. You can speak at KCD. Maybe um, there are many organizers already. I know the CNCF has a limit. It's not a hard limit, but maybe if you have like 20 plus organizers, it starts to get hard to, to keep track of everything. So maybe there are other better opportunities to get involved. Maybe speaking is a good one. Maybe not only speaking, but <coughs> reviewing the sessions. We in Brazil, we had different people just for reviewing sessions, reviewing the, the CFP um, submissions. So that was really helpful because we had, I think, 30, 100, uh, 300 um, sessions, right? I think 300 sessions, it was a lot of sessions to review. So we had like five separate reviewers just to review the sessions and making sure uh, that we have a good agenda. So we had a lot of help in that way as well. You can volunteer. Volunteers are a great part of the show. They're really the, I, I, I call them the soul of the event because they're really uh, talking to people. They're really uh, at the front of the stage, helping set up everything. So volunteers are really also rewarding experience. You get to go to the event usually for free. So it's a great way to start. Sponsor is uh, also a good way. I know um, I'm not saying you should be <laughs> giving the event money, but also trying to find the sponsors. Maybe you work at a company that is interested in participating in the event. So maybe you can be a good connection. Connect your company to the organizers and maybe they can uh, help organize the events because um, they will need help. They will need help in any way you can think of. Uh, maybe you think of other ideas. Talk to the organizers, talk to the volunteers. Uh, any help is really, uh, really welcome. Um, yeah, go ahead. And what if there is no KCD? There's no people, there's no, no one organizing KCDs in my area. What happens? What happens, yeah. Jade? Basically, the first stop, if there's no KCD in your area and you want to start doing this, is go to the uh, official GitHub, the KCD GitHub. There you'll find like official information on how to start, how to get connected and involved. Read it carefully and open an issue if you want to start hosting a KCD in your city. After you open this issue, you're gonna have like a kickoff call with someone responsible for the KCG organization as well, so, uh, someone at CINCEF actually. And don't be shy and no worry because you have someone at CINCEF like Audra, for example, who supports you throughout the process. So you won't be alone during the entire process of organizing a KCG. Yeah, I just wanted to point out that uh, that link has great information. It's gonna tell you all the information you need to know before you apply for a KCD in your city. So make sure you go to that link and read all the, the readme file from the GitHub repo. Yep, go Thanks, ahead. Thanks, yeah. No problem. So, all right, uh, this is essentially what you need to get started to get involved. But let's talk about our real experience, sharing about, about uh, sharing a bit, uh, a bit uh, uh, sorry guys, <laughs> sharing a bit our experience with our KCD in Brazil because there are a lot of KCGs, okay? Let me try to pass this way. Oops. Oops. Too much. Yeah. Yeah, so we'll, we'll split the events in three stages. 
pre-event, during the event, and post-event. Uh, it's a lot of information. I'll try to condense in some small words and sentences. Uh, so the pre-event is where you spend the most time. You spend the most time doing all of those things. Uh, like I said, in Brazil, me and Jade and the other organizers, we spend like eight to nine months doing these kind of things. I'll just quickly go briefly through each one of them. So first of all, um, make sure you split the activities uh, accordingly to all the organizers. So there's a many, there are many things to do. Make sure you organize accordingly uh, and have people committed to each of these items. You want to say something, Jay? No? No. Okay. So examples. Uh, finding sponsors. Usually uh, this has to start early because sometimes you need money to do some things. So sponsors can be a really helpful way to uh, get money to do some things in the event. So you start there early. And also because the sponsors have uh, legal processes that they have, they have to go through to give you money to sponsor the events. There are contracts. There are many things that, you know, take time. So that can be a good thing to start early in the process. Uh, it, yeah, I want to say something about the sponsor. Sometimes you don't need to... Uh, do the sponsorship of money, just money, but you can do like a sponsorship of food, for example. Yeah. We had the situation in KCG, or maybe a uh, sponsorship for a travel, for some speaker. So we don't need only to do a sponsorship related to money, you know? Yeah, exactly. Thanks, Twitch. Uh, website, you know, um, there is always a website for a KCG. That's usually where people go to find the information about the events. So. Having a good, well-designed, uh, welcoming website is helpful. Maybe if you don't have a full-stack web developer to build a website for you, CNCF can uh, help you with that too. Or you can hire someone. Like you said, if you have money, if you have the, the bandwidth or whatever, you can hire someone for all of these uh, points, right? Let's talk about tickets. So when you have a website, people know about your events. Uh, they will want to buy tickets. They will, be, they will want to be part of the event. So, also make sure you have a good strategy for tickets because I'll give you an example. For us in Brazil, I think we had four or five batch of tickets and they sold out all in five or 10 minutes. That was not a good strategy because people got really disappointed because they said, oh, we cannot buy. It takes like five minutes to buy a ticket. We cannot buy. So maybe it would have, it would have been better if we just had one batch and that was all. So make sure you have a good ticketing platform and a good strategy for that too. Uh, CFP, I already uh, spoke about that. Make sure you have good uh, reviewers to build a good agenda. Speakers, again, make sure they have a good experience. They're a great part of the show. At the events, they'll spend the most time doing sessions. So speakers, also make sure you, you take care of them. Um, creating schedule. Sometimes it's good to um, think about the tracks. When you go to an event, there are usually tracks career track, um, observability track. So think about that so you can focus on, um, you know, different things on your events. You can give the best agenda to, to the attendees. Uh, Just one thing, we didn't have these tracks in our case, so it would be really, really useful and helpful if you have tracks in your KCG as well, okay? Yeah. Just one last thing about the CFP, you can also do, uh, we did this is like, uh, stay in contact with someone expert in some area. So, for example, if you have a track of observability uh, or a track of cluster management, I can get Bernardo to do the review of cluster management uh, presentations, for example. You don't need to use just the organizers to do the review of the sessions. Okay. Remember, this is a community thing. We know that like many of us are part of a community and we, we do our things the way we think it's better. There's no really a rule to follow. Just make sure you have a good strategy. Um, I was in schedule, social marketing, uh, social media marketing. We know everything is in social media today. Uh, this can be a good thing to hire someone, external vendor to, to help because social media gets a lot of you know, clicks, traction. So it's good to have someone professional to help with that because Jade spent a lot of time doing some Canva Instagram <laughs> things. So. That took a long time because we are, we're tech people. Sometimes we don't, we don't know how to handle, um, you know, Instagram. But uh, anyways, uh, support. I think that one is important because we, uh, we realized we didn't assign any people, anyone from the organization to help with issues. So we were all of a sudden receiving a lot of messages regarding a lot of things like, can I bring my son to the event? Um, can I... Uh, bring my photographer, uh, you know, 
there are many, queens, uh, many questions that come up during the process. It's good to have someone just to answer those questions. Sponsors, uh, they will ask a bunch of things. They will ask if they can bring uh, TVs, LED panels, these kind of things. So make sure you answer these guys properly so you know everyone has a good experience at the events, not only at the events during the day, but also before. Uh, logistics, we realized in Brazil that the venue is a great, um, is a great place to, uh, actually is a great thing to, to think about it because when people arrive at the events, the first thing that they see is the building. So when they realize it's a good building, it's a good place, in our case, it was a really open space with a lot of nature, so people really uh, enjoyed that. Uh, we had some other KCGs in cinemas, in movie theaters, so having a good place really helps. People will be uh, happy to be in a, in a good place. So that's something that you can think of, but also logistics. Um, our place was really big, so we had to make sure that everything works. Uh, you know, there were security persons, uh, security people at the venue, uh, there were cleaning people working, so there were a lot of things to think about just regarding the, the place, the venue. So that's something to think about as well. I'll finish up with suppliers and inclusion. Um, just inclusion, actually, because suppliers, I just talked about it. Inclusion is something that CNCF also, um, you know, tell us to do because that's, that's, that's really something that matters. So um, in our case, we had a bunch of sponsors, luckily. So uh, we made sure that one sponsor was really helping people that could not afford uh, event tickets or going to the events. Those people would be, uh, you know, getting help from the sponsors just to make sure that they could go to the events. So that's something we made sure to do it as well. During the event. Yeah, so that was all before the event. What happens during the event day? That's the most important day. Yeah, basically during the event, it's a day to enjoy actually. The event day is a day to enjoy. So things like um, making sure the expons sponsors are having a really good experience is something important. Maybe they have good food or maybe the Wi-Fi is good, the temperature is good. You need to pay attention on these, on these points as well. Uh, photo, you need to have someone or hire someone to take photos, to do like small videos that you can use to do like an after movie. It's a way to, it's, a, it's actually, it's a strategic way to um, empower your event, to do like the marketing of the event for the next year, for the next version of the KCG, for example. Um, speakers having good experience, yeah. Again, temperature, good food, good audio, things like that. Rooms, um, I think it's the similar as the speakers experience, good temperature in the rooms, good settings, um, a nice place to speak. In terms of volunteers, I'm sure that you need someone helping you during the event. <laughs> yeah, we had, I think, 14 volunteers. Yep. But if you had chance, we would have more volunteers because sometimes you have some activities and things happening that you were not expecting actually. Um, and food doing good. It was another point that we have, uh, we had a lot of like good feedback. Our food was amazing. We are Brazilians. Our food is amazing, by the way. <laughs> and it was really hot. So that was something that we encountered that we uh, had to face in the event because it was Brazilian summer. So pretty hot. And we had delays during the events. So that was something that we had to worry because the food was, you know, exposed to the weather and it was getting worst with time. So, you know, these things happen. You need to be really careful with these details. Yeah. Don't forget the coffee and water. Devs are made of coffee. So please, coffee in place. Um, Bernardo, we don't have a lot of time. Try to be a bit Yeah. Post event is really, here. really quick. Um, you know, everyone is happy. The event is finished. Everyone go home. The organizers still remain here. We need to finish the, uh, some things. Just make sure you, uh, you know, you finish paying your suppliers. Sometimes you hire people for security and these kind of things. Make sure you pay them. Make sure you receive all your money from your sponsors because sometimes they, they take time to give you the money that they need to give you. Um, again, social media is one. Make sure you keep the engagement. It's important to keep the community uh, alive. So there are some things that you need to take care of when the event finishes, not only going home and uh, maybe the happy hour. Um, and also some metrics. Jade is going to talk about the metrics. Yeah, let me. 
go back again here and talking about uh, some metrics we can say that our event was a huge success because we had more than 600 real people directly impacted virtually or in person for example we had like uh, 58 talks with different topics observability uh, career cluster management uh, everything is uh, surrounding kubernetes for example we had 14 volunteers helping us we had more, we had six actually foreign speakers, people from Guatemala, Argentina, like I mentioned before. We had 11 sponsors. We, it was amazing, really. Um, they helped us a lot. And we have more than 100 companies, different companies uh, present and being participating in the event. So basically, if you're thinking um, that a community event, it's just a community event. Sometimes it's not. There is some business involved on these uh, type of events as well. So these numbers, these metrics actually are really good motivators or reasons to make you think about being involved as a sponsor or maybe as an organizer, volunteer. There are really good uh, reasons to be aware of this type of community event. How impactful it, it is actually. So uh, we don't have a lot of time. I would love to share a bit how was the energy of our event. I think you can run our after movie quickly here. Uh, yeah, there is a video. I think, you know, we spoke yeah. a lot about it. Just let's try to yeah. do it quickly. So this is going to be a short video for you guys to see. I was expecting it to be really well organized and I was blown away. Com a CD, a expectativa era gigante, né? um evento bem aí né? da comunidade CNCF. Uma das maiores tecnologias que a gente usa no dia a dia. Tem todas as referências da comunidade de governance aqui. Realmente está sensacional, num espaço fantástico. E é muito legal ter um espaço desse tamanho para um evento open source. A gente já fez vários eventos em fundo de sala de aula, em bar. A gente já fez no começo dos anos 2000, a gente fazia evento em qualquer lugar. E ter uma estrutura como essa da Natura para um evento open source é fora de série. É muito grande para a comunidade, é muita gente envolvida. Nós, como Natura, é um dia único, pois é difícil ter um evento de tecnologia aqui dentro. Então está sendo um marco, né? o evento KCD é um marco aqui hoje. Então, além de ser o sponsor que concedeu o espaço, nós também temos bastante galera apresentando, conversando, para poder ajudar os times e muita gente ajudando a gente. Né? Então, isso é bem interessante. Pra gente é muito valioso, principalmente por, por ser essa primeira edição, de ser esse momento diferente, de ser algo que a gente vê muitos gringos fazendo, mas não tinha um exemplo aqui que a gente podia usar para estar junto, para estar perto. Pra gente como Red Hat, não é só porque a gente tá engajado dentro da tecnologia, mas vai além disso. A gente gosta de estar presente dentro da comunidade, porque no fim das contas, é, a comunidade é o, é o cerne, né? é o mais importante pra gente. that is a pretty nice event then well the place is big like a lot of people here different people from different countries i am from guatemala first time visiting brazil so sao paulo is like really nice city feels like that kind of touch of real community so i love that that kind of of events so it's pretty nice Me parece muy importante que este evento siga, se siga creciendo, ya que trae a un montón de personas que están trabajando en el medio, pero por ahí no tienen el espacio para compartir sus experiencias. Y la verdad que si no tienes eso en, en tu ciudad, es muy difícil ir a otros lugares para entender qué está pasando en la industria. Así que la verdad que me, me parece muy bien y veo muy bien este tipo de iniciativas. Y espero que el año que viene sea el doble de grande, porque la verdad que esta, esta ciudad tiene muchísimo talento. E é bastante aprendizado, bastante speakers, bastante apresentadores aqui que veio do mercado. Então, eu super recomendo, até para você que quer ficar antenado no que está tendo de tendência, de ferramenta, e para você conseguir ali trazer para sua empresa no seu dia a dia e você possa criar ali uma inovação. 
a importância da comunidade é principalmente a questão do conhecimento. Todo mundo aqui é apaixonado por tecnologia, então a gente consegue interagir, trocar ideias. Então eu acho que isso que é a importância de a gente participar de um evento assim. Esse evento foi sensacional. Além da galera participando junto, confraternizando, trocando ideia, fazendo network, palestras de alto peso, com práticas de mercado, coisas que realmente a gente vai utilizar no dia a dia. Pessoal, vem pro evento, é uma troca de experiência sensacional. Não só como o AWS, mas todos os patrocinadores também, o pessoal que está organizando. Recomendo muito participar desse evento, como visitante, como patrocinador, como palestrante também. Vale a pena vir e ouvir essas pessoas que são gente como a gente, que também estão falando de coisas técnicas, mas também sabem trazer a gente para perto. Eu mesmo já me comprometo a vir no ano que vem. <risos> bacana conseguir extrair o máximo de experiência possível, tanto das palestras quanto dessa troca que tem no corpo a corpo das pessoas que estão aqui. É, se você perdeu o KCD desse ano, só viu que são online, venham na edição presencial do ano que vem. Porque realmente o networking, a energia que você é, é, consegue aqui num evento é fantástica. Poder trocar vai aprender muito, tem palestras de altíssimo nível. That is a nice place that you can visit to learn new things about Kubernetes and the CNCF community. Now I'm hoping the next time that I come here, because I definitely want to come back, I hope it's as good as this one. Yeah, so I guess we don't have um, a lot of time remaining. Um, I hope this video shows you a little bit of what it really is. And I hope we kind of like also mention how, how impactful it is for anyone that is participating, but also how demanding it is. But it's also very rewarding, like we said. Jay, do you want some closing words? Just thank you for your time here. Hope to see you all in other KCGs around the world, actually. I think we have two minutes, two yeah, questions. Two? Yeah. yeah, if you have questions, maybe, yeah, anyone? You can connect with us by LinkedIn or any other, yeah, yeah. one question, question there. there. Yeah. Um, so first off, excellent, well done, brilliant, that you do the event and put it on and put the time on it. Um, as uh, an organizer of a similar event in another country, um, how did you get going and deal with the challenges of things like having deposits for venues, setting up like a legal entity like a company and a bank account and that kind of stuff? Were they, were they big challenges and how did you get around that? Or is it the support from the CNCF? I think it's better to answer. So yeah, uh, I'll just speak here. Um, so the challenges can be different depending on the region, the events, the type of events, the, the type of events, how many attendees you have. And uh, like we said, there's no a rule, a golden rule to address challenges. And a lot of them, CNCF will be there to help you. There will be pe people uh, giving ideas, giving you the resources you need to, uh, to have for solving these issues. And the challenges are usually, I would say, closer to the event. So we, when you get closer, uh, peop, uh, people start to complain about some things. Uh, maybe you're missing something that you don't know. So when you get closer to the event date, that's where you need to be really careful because things just show up at you, like, you know, suddenly. So yeah, I think that's uh, what you have to keep in mind of. But again, uh, make sure you have good people around you, CNCF. So that's, uh, I think that's the best way to, to solve the issues. We are a community, so uh, it's just usually how it is, yeah. Does that answer your question, more or less? Yeah, thanks. Yeah. I think, oh, oops, not working. I think you don't have more time, actually. No, <laughs> okay. Yeah. All right. So th thank you guys for your time. See you.